Closed captioning for sport fishing on the fly is brought to you by The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design. Hefley Lake is a well-stocked mid-sized lake located about 35 minutes northeast of Kamloops, British Columbia in the central interior. I'm fishing with good friend Brian Chan of the Freshwater Fishery Society of British Columbia and that's today on Hefley Lake as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander Reels, Precision Reels, and The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design, and Reel Products, specialists in fly lines, leaders, and tippet materials. The W word. Did I say? <laughs> Wind. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully. Get today. Yeah, we know. Oh, look at this. There's fish jumping all over the place. Okay. I'm, go I'm going in right now into tomorrow because okay. it's calm and we might see fish on the sh on tomorrow. And that's, you know, we broke out the fish oh. tomorrow flats. You know what? Whenever I get out tomorrow, it's the booby. <laughs> You say this is a boobyless uh, lake? We could christen it. <laughs> we could christen it today. Okay, well, let's work our way in here. You'll oh, see, you can pan over it now. Look at how nice that is. It's all moral bottom. This is my kind of lake. You can see him with the camera. Look at he's just sitting there, just mooching on the moral. Wow. And you can see him a long ways away. I'll show you some more. You know what that last one I saw though? That was a big fish. That looked to be four, oh, yeah. four plus pounds. That was. Over the dark stuff? Yeah, he was just on the edge of the weed. This is my kind of bottom. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, there's another one. Look at this lunker sitting here. Look at the size of that guy. Oh, that was a big fish. That's a toad. That was a toad. Yep. Another one too. Oh yeah. That's a fish. That's another nice fish. That's a big fish. Big fish. Look at him. Look at him moving right there. He's coming right towards us. See, there should be lots of them though. Like, you could catch that fish. Oh yeah. I'm gonna catch him. Catch him. I'll film you. This is awesome. Oh, there's a tank. Dawn. What? Look at the size of that one. Is it big? Oh, I got this one right now. Look at that. This is so cool. Look at this. Now, if people don't get a kick out of this, this is all sight fishing. Look at this guy. He's just cruising along right in the morrow. This is another nice fish. Look at the size of this one right in front of me. Huh? That's a four or four pound fish swimming away. This is crazy. This is just crazy. Where's the nearest one? Right here. Right here. Look at him. There's a school of them. Yeah, there's a whole school of them. Look at them all. There's fish everywhere in this morning. Now we'll see if they're happy. Oh, look at them, look at them. There is a whole school in there, look at the fish. 
<laughs> Look at this, right on the morrow. This is sight fishing at its best. Oh, a nice cast. Ooh, scared that guy. He bolted. Oh, one guy's going towards it. So these, these fish are they're on the morrow looking for a high level shrimp. Oh, and they're picking off the odd damselfly nymph and even the odd leech in there. But because it's late fall, this is where the groceries are, either on the morrow or on the carish patches that are in here. And there's, there's good and bad being flat calm. Flat calm, we can see them, but they can see us yeah. as well. Yeah. So they're feeding, so there's a good chance we can uh, look at a couple of these fish. And, and you notice they're all. Yeah, how do you know? Yeah, yeah, and how do you know they're feeding? Like I saw some mooching in the ground, yeah, right? They're, they're, tip, they're tipping their heads down. Right. And then they sometimes they'll wiggle on their side or they'll nudge with their nose and okay. you know they're picking up. That's shrimp. hyalella shrimp. That's It'll be hyalella in here. Okay. They, hyalella, which is the smaller shrimp, yeah. versus the gamers, they like marl. Like yeah, the gown, yeah, yeah, right. Oh, well, we've seen the fish. Now we'll just have to, what, use the electric motor, be real stealthy and cruise around. Yeah, we're just going to, um, we'll use the electric motor to, to, to just poke around in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pressure on you. Well, obviously, I'm going to film for a while, and we're going to sight fish. And look at this guy right beside the boat. There's fish coming up here. There's fish swimming all over the place. There's a guy right there. Oh, he's going after it. He's chasing it. He I ate got it, him. didn't he? Yeah, I he got ate him. it. Yeah. I got him done. He ate it. <laughs> he ate that. Isn't that awesome? He folded it up the whole did, way. He did chased you see it that? and he ate it. That was so cool. Well, that's, how what, you, that's how you get dour fish what, to eat. What did he eat, bro? <laughs> You with know, the booby. With the booby. That is my favorite, favorite moral on moral. pattern on moral on this kind of stuff. And you know what? How often have we proven that? Over and over <laughs> again. It's not even fair. He saw that. He chased <laughs> it for how many feet? <laughs> he came 20 feet. 20, at least 20 He feet. was on it like a and dog just, on a pole. He just ate it, turned, and then whoa, you had him. And look at that. There's the booby sitting right there. Look at you that, know, that, there's a reason why this fly was essentially banned in the UK. Well, it, it, it <laughs> works on these dour fish that need something to, that drives them crazy. There's this big white foam headed thing that's bopping just off the bottom, yeah. I guess. And, and it tracks them. It's got great motion. And we, we've been casting leeches to these guys, that stuff they eat this time of year, but they're not happy. No, they're not happy. He's all wound up now. Oh, there he is. That's a nice fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, especially the way he came after oh. too. He oh, that was so good. He just charged it, came it, right it at it. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Total sight fishing. Oh, wow. So we'll let this guy go. Oh, I, you know, I know it's gonna, I know he'll have high levels. Do you wanna, do you wanna have a quick look? Oh, well, it'd be nice to see. I mean, to, to show everybody, but that's the big thing too, is why, you know, they're eating high level, they're on the morrow. But every time I've done that with a full sink line, cast the booby out, the booby floats, you pull that line through, right on along the morrow, and these guys chase it. They just love it. They just love it. And I don't know what it is. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Upside down. That was so cool. Look at there's the booby sticking in his mouth. Right upside down in his. Yeah, look at how he took it. He just went at it. And there, the barbless hard. hook. There's the, there's the fly right there. Oh, that water's significantly colder today. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a nice Isn't that fish. a beautiful fish? Gorgeous fish. Have a quick look. Quick, yeah, quick sample. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's been eating. There he is there. Nice fish. Isn't that a pretty fish? There it is. There he goes. Ooh, he was gone. <laughs> All right, so we'll just verify that. There they go. Well, he's there got two are. shrimp. Actually, they're gamma. So I think this guy was eating the gamma on the on the Kara. Oh, okay. Uh, but they're Before he came in. one's still alive and one's recent dead. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for the gamma, the bigger shrimp. Yeah, the bigger the shrimp. Nice. Yeah. He's yeah, like a still, little high low. One's still kicking. Well, we know they're eating. I knew they'd be. We knew they'd be on shrimp. 
Yeah. One of the two. But we want to test out the booby again on the morrow. In every situation I've run into where they're on still water, you know, dead calm on the morrow, that fly has worked. Of course, we can't explain why, but it works. <laughs> the big thumbs up. This is a chunk. That was awesome. Did you see that fall? Oh, I got the whole. I saw the whole thing. He chased it. He ate it. He oh, turned, you know I what? saw him open his mouth. He, he turned on it once. He made the swipe, and then in the camera you see him go up and turn. This, this is the best. The closest where you get the bone. The bone fish. That was so good. Oh, look at him down there. This there is a chunk too. There. Oh, he is. He's a beauty. He fall. He followed that booby for a while. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful fish. Oh, man. That was just... That was spectacular. That was priceless. That was. That was so good. And you know, all we'll do is we'll just keep moving around this shoal and picking these guys off. This is too much fun. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm enjoying just watching this. Oh, this is great. So Oh, nice fish, Fry. Late fall fishing. Oh, is it the <laughs> best or what? Oh. Cold water. And nasty fish. Look at that. that again, another beauty, Bry. Just a okay, beautiful just, fish. But you know, one thing I can we can tell, they're a little hesitant because we're hooking them on just on the edge, on the outside. Normally when they really want the booby, they inhale it, right? They eat it, okay. But see, this fish like that last one, just in the upside, yeah. upside down. Oop, well, there it is. And you know, we saw it too. When I, like everybody saw that footage of that fish chasing and taking. When he ate it, he just quickly turned on it. Oh, you know, he didn't just inhale it like they normally do with the booby. You're right. He just turned on he it. He just turned on yeah. it. Yeah. Which is good though. He's still eating it. Oh, look at oh, that. Yeah. I'll show this guy. Another look gorgeous fish. Oh, for high. That's great. A <laughs> eh? sight fishing for fish like that, that size. How big is that guy? No. Oh. You know, he's got to be. Three and a half, be, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say a few pounds. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna keep following you. Like, this is great. If I can get the shots like that, this is phenomenal. Let's just keep scouting around in here. Look at there's some more there. Yeah, there's more fish. Look at here. I'm just gonna get up and show everybody. There's another one right here coming in. All these fish are all around us. We're in how deep of water, Bry? We're in uh, six feet, six feet of water. Crystal clear, gin clear water on the Morrow Flats, fishing for, you know, three, four pound rainbows. Like this just doesn't get any better. Fantastic. So Brian's going after that guy right now. There's a fish out there. We'll keep an eye on him. And also, Bri, you should tell, you know, we could talk a little bit about how you're fishing that booby. You know, you've got that so full sink, that's what we always type use. Type 7, it's the real Type 7. Right, because what, because the whole idea is you want that fly line right on the bottom, right? Right on the bottom. Right on the bottom. Yeah. So the fastest, fastest sinking line you've got, you get the fly, whole fly line on the bottom. I'm using a, a three foot leader maximum, maximum length, and the big foam ice that fly rises off the bottom and then when you strip fast it dives down into the barrel right and it just drives the fish crazy yeah and it floats up and that guy you know what when you were stripping he ate it normally ate. it's when i pause yeah right yeah they seem to want it fast because yeah. i was pausing and it wasn't getting the normally the Reaction. results we usually get so but you need clear water calm clear water on a clear unobstructed bottom to right. do this I mean, we got fish moving all over we just got to be stealthy get close to them make the good brian's making the great cast and picking them off, so. I'm casting over your left shoulder, okay? Okay, look at these two, right there, two together, Bri. Right there. Oh, there's Brian's cast. Oh, I think he sees it. I think he sees your fly. He does, for sure. He's coming towards it, Bri. Okay. He's right there. I'm gonna let it sink a bit. Yeah, let it sink, because he's right on it. 
You guys see him, he's swimming right towards it. Oh, he sees it, he's yeah, on it. He's on it. Oh yeah. There he goes, he's gonna take it. Oh, she's gonna grab the boat. Oh, oh, he just, he followed it the whole way. But he never did come close to eating though, did oh, he? Oh, but did you see that? Yeah. He did, he got within, he got within about a foot and then he just went and he just stopped. <laughs> we saw him chase the whole fly, Brian. I saw him chase it all. Boy, that fly you gave me is a killer. I know, I'm going to get it back from you. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you call that little guy? It's just a little black uh, maroony micro leech. Oh, okay. A little so... maroon and black dubbing. I think that's a good candidate for the bench. Well, I think you should put one there, yeah. Think? I think uh, right after this fish, we're going to send it to the bench and we'll, we'll tie one of these guys up because it looks good. Well, I think you better use the net on this one. Yeah, I think so, eh? They're, they're spunky. Like, oh, man, they got a lot of... Yeah. They fight great in here. Yeah, I think I'll be better using that on this guy. Whoa, he just jumped right out of there. Whoa. And you're saying, what's the big guys in here? Like, they'll get up to potentially five, six pounds? Yeah, five, six pounds. But those ones we got uh, on the booby on the flat, that's those are pretty nice fish. Yeah, right now we got the little guys, which is fine. I mean, this is a lot of fun on a on a small leech pattern that we have. Absolutely. So there's the, there's the micro leech. Let's pop him on. Show everybody this little guy. Just your standard size fish. Oh, gee. Think about fish, they're slimy. Come on. And that water's cold, isn't Whoa, it? Oh, is it ever? Man, oh, come on. Be nice to me. Gee, where is he? He just wants to go. I'm just going to have to let him go because he's. Oh, we'll get it. We'll get there he is it there. going over. Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, he's a nice Perfect. little guy. Nice Water little... chrome. There he goes. Whoa. That water's cold, isn't it? <laughs> is it ever cold? <laughs> Holy cow. Well, I'm going to keep going out here. You know what I'm noticing too, though, Bry, is that riffle's perfect right oh, now. Oh, yeah. We got the fresky riffle right got now. Got the fresky riffle, and whenever I've got this riffle, look out, I'm <laughs> deadly. I love it. I love it. Today on the bench, we're going to tie you up the black and maroon micro leech. Now, as the name says, micro means small, so make sure this pattern is quite small. It is tied on a size 16 swimming nymph hook, very important ingredient for this pattern. Make sure you have these ingredients ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use the size 16 swimming nymph hook, some 8 aught black thread to tie with, some black marabou for the tail with red crystal flash as a highlight, a 7 64th inch silver bead for the bead, some black marabou for the body, and some red copper wire for the rib. The first step in the fly is to tie in your black thread and make sure you have a good layer laid down on the hook. Next step in the fly is to take about five or six marabou strands. Now you want to keep the tail fairly thin because this is a micro leech, keep it small. So we're going to tie it in for the tail and make it about the length of the hook. Once the tail is tied in, take one strand of your red crystal flash. Make sure it's only one strand, that's all we want to tie in. And we're actually going to lay it on top of our tail, about the length of the tail, and tie it in. The tail is now fully tied in with our one strand of crystal flash. Take some copper wire and we're going to tie it in along the body and this will be used for our ribbing once we tie in the body. We have the ribbing all ready to go, now we have to tie in the body. What we're going to do is take some black marabou and we're going to pull it off and dub it on and we're going to dub it very thinly. We want this to be a micro leech, very thin. So take your black marabou, dub it onto your thread and then wrap it forward to form a very thin body. Now that the body's wrapped forward, we're going to take our red copper wire that we have sitting off the back, and we're going to create about five to six ribs up the fly. To finish the fly off, I'm going to take my whip finisher. I'm actually going to whip finish off the fly near the head, and then I'm going to take a dubbing brush and actually use a dubbing brush to pick out the body. Actually, it's a dubbing pick tool that we use. And just pick out the body so it gives it that nice leech shape. Remember, when you're about to tie a micro leech, there's some important things you want to remember. Keep it small, keep it thin, 
and vary the colors. They're great little patterns. Nice one, Brian. This one feels like it's got a bit of weight. Well, they look good. You mean your rod bent over yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Well, I know. Can you do two things at once? I know I was looking at some new uh, guys that you guys put out there. The fresh water fishing Yeah, we, um, we started a, uh, two years ago now to do uh, uh, regional fishing guides for the entire province. So we selected easily accessible waters uh, in each region of the province, produced uh, hard copy guides that uh, people can pick up at ministry offices or they can go online at our website gofishbc.com and it just tells you how to get to the easy accessible lakes what's in there for size species uh, what to use actually good information on flies and lures things like that and uh, it's become a great resource just something another project that we've worked with the ministry environment to uh, get more people fishing and what i found cool too was you get to see where you triploided the fish that's how right. big they are and how long ago it was you get the stocking records exactly so you get, you get which i found invaluable because then i went to the ones that you know you stocked three four years ago so i knew there's big fish that's right <laughs> so this is a typical this fish here is a typical halfway fish okay the the society stocks about uh, 15,000 panas strain rainbows in this lake each year and the Ministry of Environment manages this lake as a general uh, fishery. So there's, it's open year round to, to fishing, all types of gear and um, winter fishing as well. But they're nice. Ooh, so that's pretty well standard size we're gonna catch out here. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely bigger fish. Oh, yeah. They get to five pounds in this lake, I'd say, but pretty hard to beat fish like that. No, we're picking them off pretty readily. I mean, yeah. it's every, you know, every couple minutes we're into a fish. Yeah, so, and they'll, we'll get bigger ones. Oh, that's, that's a nice yeah, shaped fish. That's great. Oh, gorgeous <laughs> fish. Very nice, Bry. That water's What'd cool. you get them on? Got them a little old purple, small purpley black micro leech. Oh. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs> Got another one on there. Another right? one, Bry. I better get it right here. How's he look? Oh, he's not too bad. Oh, nice it's little one. Yeah. Well, you know what? I want to thank you for a great day out here. This, we had a lot of fun. We some great fishing. We saw it all. <laughs> so. You know, and, and the best part is when you can come out here, get the morrow, come out here, get the weed, go wherever you want, search all the fish. And clear water, too. Clear water. And the thing about Heffley Lake is, you just said it, the clear water. Uh, we've been to a lot of different lakes in this area and everywhere else. This is one of the clearest lakes I've ever seen. Next to White Lake. Next to White Lake, yeah. but you know what? In BC, we've got so much good fishing. Unreal. Again, thanks for Great the day. day. And when you're out here, when you come to Heffley, make sure you take care. Conserve the waters, as we always do. And we'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. <laughs> Jumping all over the place. <laughs> To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.